are Mr. Teleferro TV. How's everybody doing out there? If you're a Laker fan, you want to cover your ears. This is not great news for you guys. There's a lot going on revolving around Anthony Davis and the New Orleans Pelicans. Let me just start here, right? Anthony Davis and the New Orleans Pelicans are in a weird relationship, right? The New Orleans Pelicans, their general manager, Demps, is a basketball mind, but the team is kind of under a weird transition phase is what I'll call it because the Benson family, they lost their leader recently. He passed away, right? And now they're kind of in this turmoil. So in regards to basketball decisions, it's kind of all being put on the general manager Demps. But if it was the owners, again, this Benson family, if it was their decision, they would just trade Anthony Davis today, right? If there's their, their mindset is if he doesn't want to be here, let's get him out of here. But the general manager who's under the owner is like, Yo, I get it. It's your guys' final call, but I think we should take our time with this one and wait till teams like Boston have their packages available and they can trade for Anthony Davis and wait for a team like the Chicago Bulls or the New York Knicks. These are two of the three worst teams in the NBA. Let's wait until they get their pick in and see if they want to trade a number one, a number two pick, which could potentially be Zion Williamson or RJ Barrett. And let's see if we want to trade that for Anthony Davis or a package revolving around that, right? So there's a lot going on with the New Orleans Pelicans. I don't know if you guys saw this last night, but the Pelicans had a home game. And again, Anthony Davis is out of the lineup with an injury, a finger injury for the next couple days or a couple weeks or forever, right? The Pelicans took Anthony Davis out of their pregame hype video, all right? He's no longer in the pregame hype video. And a lot of people assume... Oh my goodness, Anthony Davis is no longer in a pregame hype video. That means they're going to trade him somewhere, maybe the Lakers, if they got the best package available in the next six or seven days. That's not the case, all right? I actually understand why the Pelicans took Anthony Davis out of their hype video. Well, how can you get a team hype about a game, or how can you get the fan base hype about a game if the, one of the people in the hype video doesn't want to play for your organization? And they're kind of protecting Anthony Davis in a way because they know the fans are going to boo him if they show him on the big screen right everybody's gonna be focused on this one image and they're gonna be booing anthony davis every time they show him on the hype video obviously he was the centerpiece of the hype video so they took him out of it right now anthony davis was present on the bench and give him credit he's there on the bench when he actually walked in he get he did get sporadically booed by a few fans in new orleans it wasn't just an overwhelming amount of boos but it was sporadic all right now, if that wasn't enough, here's like the biggest piece of news. Actually, I got two more big pieces of news. The New Orleans Pelicans are considering sitting Anthony Davis for the remainder of the season to trade him this summer. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that correctly. Anthony Davis might have already played his last game as a New Orleans Pelican. Right now, he's injured. But when he returns from injury, it's looking like the Pelicans are just going to say, yo, don't worry about it. Sit down. Sit out the rest of the season. We'll trade you this summer. You don't want to play for us? Cool. See, I don't think that's smart because Anthony Davis is still owed $15 million for the remainder of the season. So pretty much you're just going to give him free money. He's kind of injury prone. So you're going to allow his body to rest. You think you're being petty toward Anthony Davis. I'm not sure if he'll take it that way. To me, he could look at it as like two or three months of rest. We know he loves the game of basketball, so obviously he's going to want to play if he's healthy. Maybe he'll take it personal. Maybe he won't. Like, I mean, he's not going to be able to play, but that'll guarantee him that he'll be traded this summer, right? You're not going to keep him on the roster going forward, going into another season when you're going to owe him about $30 million. And we already paid him $15 million of free money. The Pelicans are strongly considering sitting Anthony Davis out for the remainder of the season. I think that's stupid. I mean, if he's healthy, let him play. What's going to hurt you guys by letting him play? Maybe you could say, you know, we'll sit our best player. We're not going anywhere anyway. He don't even want to be here. Let's go ahead and tank this season out to get the best spot in the lottery we can. But to me, you got a great player on your roster. You, you drive players to get great players, right? Like, man, let the dude play. That's their decision. And right now they're leaning towards sitting him for the remainder of the season. And again, that doesn't mean they're trading him in the foreseeable future. That just means they're going to trade him this summer. Speaking of trade partners, like I said, the Laker fans out there, you're not going to want to hear this. Right now, the general manager, Demps, is not returning the phone calls from the Lakers. 
He is talking to other teams about Anthony Davis trades, but he refuses to return the phone calls of the Lakers. That is not good. That likely means he's upset at how a combination of Magic Johnson, Rich Paul, Anthony Davis, hell, let's throw LeBron James in his mix, how they're handling this situation. The Pelicans believe that it's tampering, public tampering going on. They believe that Rich Paul and Magic Johnson are in cahoots so Anthony Davis can land in Los Angeles with LeBron and the Lakers. And they don't want to do business with the Lakers. And like I told you guys a couple days ago, I don't believe the Lakers have a, a, a chance at landing Anthony Davis, period. I don't think it's going to happen this summer. I don't think it's going to happen next week. If Anthony Davis really wants to be a Laker, the first chance he'll get is summer 2020 when he's a free agent. We'll see if it works out for him in his next team. He will be traded. We'll see if it works out for him for his next destination. If it does, he'll likely stay in Boston or New York or wherever he goes. If it doesn't, he'll be shooting right to LA summer 2020. Now you got to, if you're the Lakers, are you going to wait an additional year for Anthony Davis to become a free agent. Are you pretty much going to tank another year? So a lot is going on right now. And uh, it's all revolving around Anthony Davis. I thank you guys so much for y'all time, love, support. I do not take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.